twa, twa, twa. It do not matter. Clip on a ruga, look like a ruler. Okay, so I'm back, and before the video starts, it's greatly appreciated when you interact. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Stunner girl gagged everybody last night. She said, "Fuck everything and fuck everybody." I'm exposing it all, and she didn't even expose all of it. So part one to everything is this. You should go watch it. This is part two, okay? So yesterday, we left off with the live of Stunner Girl about Natalie, Lemuel Plummer, and Biggie. She was like, this man be yelling in their faces, calling them all types of bees and all this other stuff. She was like, Krishan not lying. This man is weird. He never liked Biggie and all this. It was a bunch of stuff, okay? You should go watch that live. I want Stunner Girl on T-Podcast. <laughs> That's messy. So picking up where we left off right after the live, Stunner Girl, she made a tweet saying, I respect Blood Gangster though. Them whores need some guidance and instructions. She said, everything I said turned out to be facts. And the brazy part is, I'm still sparing a lot of people because they ain't did nothing to me. She said, I got text messages that'll have y'all jaw dropping. Should I end them? Since what I'm saying is fiction. The Lemmy man was basically saying it's all fake, but he's going to always deny. He's going to deny, 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 duh, because it's his company. He have to keep this image. Then she said, then y'all going to realize how nice I really was because I never said no names ever. I kept my beef for one person only. She said, and who gives a fuck? These people ain't never cared how they made me look or portray me or how I got jumped 24-7 by outsiders. Well, they told me if my people came, they was calling the cops. And I showed up standing on business every time me and my husband was beefing with this man the whole season. He told me he was going to edit all my fights bad. That's why when the trailer first dropped, everything was about me. Then when y'all watched the show, y'all understood. They been editing stuff since the auditions when I threw the microphone and edited the whole season, zooming out every fight I was in. Want to know what's crazy? Anna said this a couple of times. They told her we could still edit your fights. So, Nimuel Plummer, he made a post, right? He said, to whom this may concern? Fiction refers to literature, films, and other creative works that are the product of imagination and are not based on real events. In fiction, the author creates characters, settings, and plots that are not real, but are invented for the purpose of telling a story. This can include genres such as a novel, short stories, plays, films, etc. that are not presented as factual accounts, but are instead created for entertainment artistic expression or explore themes and ideas he did all that for nothing basically he's saying blah 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 this girl is lying stunning girl said this man consistently does sneaky stuff to f with me said his techno team on my insta had the report till my page got took months after i was not even worried about them constantly trying to blackball me just a real weirdo everybody knows how he gets down he tries to take away your platform she said Y'all must forget why I even dropped the tea because he went on DJ Academic's show and talked about me first. Was being a chatty patty and discrediting me. I literally just be replying to the BS. I don't be worried about these people. I actually remember that. I did not like some of the things he was saying. He was basically trying to say, oh, he made Stunner Girl and she ain't do nothing. In my opinion, um, did y'all put Stunner Girl name on a bigger platform? Yes, but you can't lie and act like she did not do nothing for the show because she was one of the main people to go viral every week on that show to me it was like a win-win thing not just a win because he he it's like he was trying to act like she just did nothing for the show and that shit is a lie then stunning girl went live and it's a 10 minute live and i don't really want to put a, a 10 minute live in the middle of this video because like it's still t after the live so like i'm gonna cut it down to like the most important parts okay i had to hire a cyber security team to watch over my instagram and then it'd be like this man do that to everybody. Anybody like that do anything, he immediately tries to take their Instagram. Like, what is your obsession with other people's platforms, dude? But let me get into it, though. So, what I was telling y'all about Krishan earlier. When I said he was doing weird shit to her. So, he, and he basically left her downstairs. He wasn't trying to let her up in the building. He was mad at her because she didn't come to the grand opening. Mind you, she pregnant. So that's why I wasn't feeling that that day. And I was up there and I was up there with my brothers and hella people. So my brothers and them, they was already downstairs, like in the front of the building, just down there smoking. And so uh, one of them texted me and they like, yeah, she's down here. Woo -woo. And I'm like, what the f can't let her up type and then he like came past me hella fast. Don't let her up in here. Da, 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 da. And I told them to let her up anyways. So my brothers and them got up in the elevator and they let her up. 
And then it was like, you mad at her because she didn't come to this grand opening. But yet, you sat there and was had her damn near kicked out her Airbnb. Like, she got bigger shit to worry about. You feel me? Plus, she like eight months pregnant. So it's like, you kicked her out of her Airbnb because she didn't come to the grand opening. Now you got her basically outside with no Airbnb, outside, just waiting. And then she came up there and she was like, no, he just really mad because the nigga be acting like, oh, he be mad if he found out I'm texting Blueface. If I tell, like, if they, I guess if they make an announcement, they don't fuck with each other. Bruh, be all up in the business. So I'm like, damn, so this nigga think he the baby daddy too? Just the fucking weirdo. Like, and when I post these text messages, that's going to be the end of that. Okay, Natalie, she didn't have no reason to just go up in an uh, interview and just be talking about me. Like, bitch, you got a whole new cast. Why are you still talking about me, girl? Why? Why are you still talking about me? I need you to stay in pocket. When I talk, you bitches don't motherfucking talk. Have you seen anybody uh, post today after I said something? No. But when Krishan was talking, it was 10 bitches running to the mother phone popping it exactly the only time this mother really said something and he was popping it over the phone talking about oh i'm i still gotta i'm still gonna edit your fights i'm gonna make you look bad i'm gonna get that 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 my feet feeding me grass oh yeah but look the text messages that i got in my phone now these are the text messages about the clap now after stunner girl live it was quiet right from every party the shit was quiet out of nowhere she posted the text messages. First of all, she said three, two, one, hashtag free the bitch from hiding, okay? <laughs> she posted these text messages between her and Scotty. So, I'm gonna just hop right into it because this shit is crazy to me. So, Sunny Girl said, what you doing? Oh, mind y'all, this is back in August. So, she said, what you doing? Scotty said, annoyed, about to start these interviews. Stunna Girl said, I know somebody that talked to Anna. I don't know if I even want to tell you. Scotty said, tell me. Stunna Girl said, she said, let me gave her chlamydia. Scotty said, what the fuck? Stunner Girl said, that stuff's serious. Her close partner saying it like it's a joke, but it's not. Then she said, and the person who told me, she said it herself out her own mouth. Scotty said, he's never given me anything before, but then again, I go to the doctor. She also has a boyfriend she Fs while effing him. But I go to the doctor regularly because I know what's going on. I take pills to be to prevent. Uh, what? I take pills to prevent. I got BV back in December ever since my doctor put me on pills. Scotty said, OMG. Stunner Girl said, but I take it as being funny, T. You my partner, you feel me? I don't take it as, right? Then Scotty said, I take my health seriously. So I appreciate you, Boogie. Thank you for the heads up, though. Like, for real, for real, this why I mess with you. At this point, Lemmy, you need to be on the couches with the girls at this reunion. And, like, then I doubt it be brought up because, like, isn't Janisha, like, the main host for the reunions and then, like, another special host? She's not going to be talking about these two girls sleeping with her boyfriend or something. She's just not. I don't see it. So, if we see Anna and Scotty fighting and we don't know why, we know why, okay? Stunner Girl said, what I say is all factual, never fiction. Then she said, no cap, her makeup artist got her on recording and played it for everybody. Anna, you've been around effing with him for years. That's how you got on the show. That's really what y'all fighting over. So don't even sit up and lie like that. Y'all should have told him, quit effing with me, because now I'm not sparing nobody and none of you hoes speak on my behalf. Here's the thing. Roly said this months ago. She said when they was uh, filming Betty South, Anna was there sleeping with people. You know what I'm saying? Her and Krishan actually ended up fighting. Right? Roly said that. And Bree said that. Roly said... Wait, where was this in the airport on the way back from Jamaica when I pressed her on the plane for lying on my name? It's the internet thugs, and guess what? She gonna pop stuff at the reunion because guards are there. It's always the prostitutes that sold they ass for a spot that be coming for me. Matter of fact, let me call Rock so she, so she can mix you how she did on Betty South when you came to our house to sell some ass. Oh my god. I'm saying, girl, what? People just bullies, and I'm not shutting up. I'm grown as hell. Like I said, I've been around her many, many times. This was never the energy. But nobody teaming up on me. Girls can talk about me, but I can't respond. Then she said, talking about airing somebody out. Girl, you don't want to play them games with me. I'll have the network in a uproar. Do it. Do it. Honest, she said, she's talking about prostitution. What? Now I'm 
sorry, sirring, oh, maybe airing, airing everybody out. What is your friend Scotty then? Holy crap. Bree said, Rock already beat this girl up when we was filming in Charlotte and she was hanging around. Anyway, Anna, she responds to Stunner Girl. <laughs> she said, you're weird as fuck because what friend told you this about me? Because I never even had, I never even had that with the F and I don't even F with this person. So I'm really confused. So after the text messages, Lemuel Plummer said, people out here have nothing better to do other than make up wild stories and lies. Probably because Zeus isn't signing their checks or funding their lives anymore. Folks need to find some business, preferably outside of Zeus. Or if they want to be on baddies, just say that. Uh, if not, they should go focus on getting those monthly listeners up on Spotify. It's looking kind of light compared to them so-called partners. They think they out here clearing something, but they need to focus on clearing those records that's not coming out. Certain cast members have been off the show for damn near a year, but because they don't have any business or lives, watch it, watch it be out me, huh? Zeus for the next 30 days, lol. Good night, I'm done. Onward and upward. I mean, we're, I mean, like, we just seen the text messages, so. I think the only thing that's not actually 100% confirmed is, uh, if Anna caught chlamydia. Because Scotty would have said, oh, no, I'm not sleeping with him. Right? And then, Scotty also said, Anna has a boyfriend, which she do, and that she was sleeping with the boyfriend and Lenny. This is what Scotty said. The son of girl said, oh, y'all fighting over that clap stick, keep it a band. Nat ran him and his side chick, too, cracking the F up. He having his way with y'all. That's the real tea. Blood really scared of my husband, so he knew not to play with me. He only started playing with Kashawn because he, because he thought she ain't have a nigga or no muscle behind her. Somebody asked Stunner Girl, was it E.T. who told you this? Stunner Girl said, everybody know and been knowing. They all go together. Honor was around since Betty South. That's why Kashawn fought her. Y'all can't be this slow. They literally tell you on the show. Now, Honor, she still feels some type of way because she made another post. It said, y'all girls are weird as F. You thirsty for clout. Mad as F. You left baddies giving clout chaser. Uh, suck my D. Texting my up false stuff about me. Just to, just to fake think you doing something. Loud and wrong. Never had no STD. Never F that nigga. Y'all really hating on a girl. Now, here is where a lot of people get irritated. Well, who? Camila. Why? Because Camila is always doing something on Twitter. As Stunner Girl is exposing the stuff that she have on Anna, Scotty, and Zeus, Camila went and made a tweet saying, My auntie likes Stunner Girl. I was looking forward to meeting her, actually. Even people in the crew told me she was a real beat. I only saw her once on set, but I would have loved to vibe with her, especially her being from California. So people are like, um, Camila, you're weird. This girl is literally saying, currently saying that her friend Anna has chlamydia. Then Camila said, I just got on here and was watching some videos from her. Uh, and old footage of baddies top fights. Girl, I'm looking through homework waiting for my baby to finish cheer practice. Camila was like, she did not know what was happening between Anna and Stunner Girl right now and blah, blah, blah. Now, the thing is, Camila, she not really the biggest fan of Zeus when it comes to production and stuff like that. So, could she have been saying that because Stunner Girl was arguing with Zeus earlier in the day? Yeah, but it's like bad timing. There's a lot of people not believing that. They're saying you're fake, you're weird. You seen her arguing with Stunner Girl, now you saying, oh, you didn't even know what was happening. There's a possibility for both. Which one do you think? Now, Stunner Girl, she responded to Camila. She said, I respect that you came on the network knowing the odds was against you. Then there was a clip between Anna and Scotty and they fight. And one of the things that Anna said was, I'm going to continue sleeping with your man or with your nigga, right? Stunner Girl said, I literally spared everybody for so long. Y'all should have really told them folks to shut up because I still ain't post these videos. It could be worse. Stunner Girl said, I've been having these receipts for hella long. I could have been posted them. Why would I need clout off bees? I got more clout there. You bees don't even get booked. I'm just, I'm just literally tired of people messing with me and constantly talking about me. And it's like, where is everybody now that was defending him against Krishan yesterday? She said, I just told y'all multiple things that they did. And if y'all thought I was going to let it slide, you must be dumb. Bees couldn't be enough to call out the fake stuff they puppet master do because they scared. I'm not. Someone took the screenshot of Bree saying Anna was there when we was um doing Betty South for her and Krishan Full. Stunner Girl said, my point has been proven for everything I've been saying about these Fugazi mother efforts since day one. Don't feel sorry for these hoes because they the ones who hindered this nigga. Anna says, Stunner Girl, who the friend that told you that fake tea hating ass hoe? Please show me someone saying that about me. You freestyling. Stuff about me is some weird stuff. You texting Scotty, lying on my name is doing what? Then during filming, how can that happen? 
Someone was like, they should sue you for defamation. Some girl said, girls can't even pass a polygraph test. Girls know not to play with me. I got videos. All right, so that's it for this video. But I'm telling you, it's not over. Phone conversations got put out. Text messages got put out. Confirmations got put out. It just, this is not done, okay? <laughs> so, if you found this video interesting, and I hope you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications when. Thank you.